What's up guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question in today's video and we have question 65 from the second chapter of Miriam textbook. And we have each propeller of the twin ship develops a full speed thrust of 300 kilonewtons force. So we have these two forces of F that are 300 kilonewtons and actually these two propellers are acting against each other. So one of them is going ahead and the other one is in reverse. And the question is asking what thrust P must be each tug exert on the ship. We have these two tugs that they need to apply the force P in order to counteract the effect of the ship's propeller. So we solve the question very similar to this one in the previous video. So there are two ways to solve this. The first one is, as we can see, these two forces of F are making a couple on the ship. And the reason is that we have a couple, which is a moment produced by two forces that are equal. We know both are 300 kilonewtons. They are in the opposite direction. One of them is to the right. The other one is to the left. And they are non-collinear, meaning they are in two different lines or parallel to each other so they're going to make so those two forces are going to make a couple so in order to cancel out the couple of those two forces that we as we can see it's going to make in this direction so it's a clockwise couple so these two forces are going to turn the ship clockwise meaning the forces that are applying by these two tugs which as we can see is going to be in the counterclockwise direction has to be same as the other two so for finding the couple we know if couple at the end is the moment and what we care about in finding the couple is the force and the d where the d is the distance between the two force and if we look at these two f's in here we can see the distance between them is 12 so basically we have 300 times 12 as the moment of or the couple of these two forces which will be kilonewton meter so the force that we call from the tugs p has to be same as this couple produced by the f so we have the same thing in here what we care about is again the forces p and the d that we have in here again the distance between these two forces so we have to figure out that distance which is basically we know from here to here is 120 and we have 50 in here basically 120 minus 50 is going to give us that distance and this has to be equal to the m that we found in the previous step so this will be equal to 300 times 12 this will be 70 and from here we can find our p which will be 51.43 kilonewton so that's one way to solve this basically the couple produced by these two has to be equal to these two obviously in the opposite direction in order to cancel out each other or we can do another way so if we draw the free body diagram let's say this is our ship and we have these two forces of f here and we have these two forces that are applying by the tux so the so we can pick a point in here to find a moment about and obviously we are trying to find a moment about a point that we can cancel out the moment of any of one of these unknowns which is p in here so if we go with this point in here let's call it point o so if you want to find a moment about point o counterclockwise positive uh, we get rid of the moment of p and f because they are passing through the point o and actually uh, i should say they write the line of action of the f is passing through the o and same for the p uh, so no moment from this F and this P and we're left up with the moment of the F on top and the P on top so as we can see the moment of F is in this direction so clockwise negative F and we have to figure out the distance from here to here and if we get back to the and the distance that we are interested in is the vertical distance to the line of action which is what we have in here from the question we know this distance is 12 so we have F times 12 uh, by the way we know our f is 300 kilonewton and we have the moment of p as we can see it's counterclockwise so plus p times this time we have again the same distance that we found in the previous part so 70 this will be equal to zero as we can see we're going to get the same answer and that would be 51.43 
and that's the second way to solve this question so yeah hope you guys find this one helpful let me know if you have any questions we are covering three different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist um, the questions and the problems are organized by the chapter of the textbook and the question number so every, everything is in sequence if you start from the first one you see all the questions that are solved from the um, first chapter to uh, next chapters that are coming and uh, let me know if you have any specific questions i'm going to cover those in the next videos and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one Thank you.